Hello friends, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this easy plant cozy plant cover. If you haven't yet done so, please give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel, it really does help me out, and let's go ahead and get started with today's video. The materials that we will be using for today's project is just some acrylic yarn. Here I have um, just some Red Heart Super Saver in a few different colors. I chose three different colors, but you can choose to do whatever you want. Um, and I'm using a size H five millimeter crochet hook. Now let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Really quickly, before we get too far into this, I feel like a few people are going to ask um, what the Ceram the ceramic circumference of this is. Um, so we have about seven, so like 14 inches around is about what it would fit. Um, so let's get started. Once you have your 12 done, we just want to go ahead and pull that chain tight. Okay, so from this point, like I said, our chain two does not count as a stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into our first double crochet that we made. <clears throat> excuse me and now I like to work my last increase in this slip stitch and I'll show you as we get closer um but we are going to chain up two again that is not going to count as a stitch so we want to place two more double crochets back into that same space this is going to be a standard increase row so what that means is we are going to be placing two double crochets into every single stitch around. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna end up with a total of 24 stitches when we get done with the end of round two. Now, here I am at the end of round two and instead of placing two double crochets in the, this last stitch, I'm actually gonna place my increase stitch into the, um, the slip stitch right here. Okay. You see that all right? Okay, so moving on to round three, um, we are going to do the same thing. We're going to slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet and chain two. Now into our first stitch, what we want to do is just place one double crochet. Let me grab some more yarn really quick here. All right, so then after we do our first double crochet into the next stitch, we will place two double crochets into that same stitch. So this will be a standard increase row. So this is what we'll do for the rest of row three is one double crochet into this stitch here, two double crochets into the following, one double crochet into the first stitch, two into the following. So that is what we will do for round three. And as you guessed it, for round four, we are going to do the same thing. We're going to slip stitch, chain two, and do a standard increase row. So into the first stitch, we will place one double crochet. Into the following stitch, we will place one double crochet. And then right here into this third stitch is where we will place two double crochets. So there is one and two. So that's what we are going to do all the way around for row four. We will do two stitches with a single, like one double crochet into each. And then into the third one right here, we'll do two double crochets. So go ahead and do that and then meet me back here. And then we are going to jump into our granny stitch. Now that we have finished the bottom, right here of our little pot thing, we wanna just do one row of single crochet into the back loop only. So we're going to slip stitch into both of the stitches, uh, loops right here on that first. We're gonna chain up one. And now what we wanna do is place a single crochet into the back loop only of that first stitch and then into every stitch across. So we're not going through both. We're just going to go through this back loop right here and that's going to kind of turn our work upwards to make this the bottom so just continue to do that all the way around and then i will meet you back here now that we're done with that 
We're gonna start moving on to the fun part and this just starts moving along really fast at this point. So now what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna chain up three and this is going to count as a stitch. So we're gonna work two more double crochets back into that same space um, that we chained from and that we slip stitched into. And this is going to be our first little cluster Okay, now we're not going to do any chains or anything in between. We're just going to skip two stitches, so one and two. And right here into the third stitch, we're going to place another granny square cluster, which is going to be three double crochet stitches into that same space. So one, two, and three. And now we're going to skip these two stitches. And then again, into the third, we will place three double crochets. So we're just going to do that all the way around until we get back over to this side here. Okay guys, the video probably looks a little bit better. I adjusted a few things. Okay, so now that we um, have made it all the way around, what we're going to do is we're actually going to slip stitch to the top of our chain three right here okay and kind of pull up a little bit we're going to now slip stitch into the space right here and now we're going to chain three and that will count as our first little chain of our cluster and we'll do two and then one more into that same space. And then that's pretty much it, you guys. Now we're gonna skip all of this and just start working our granny square clusters. Now, if you wanted to continue to do this in one color, you can definitely just continue along until you have the amount of rows that you want. Um, however, what I did, and this is just a repeat, so what we did right here for row two, we're just doing that all the way around. We'll slip stitch, we'll slip back into the hole, chain three. And now with my color change, I did four rows of the orange, three rows of the teal, and three rows of the yellow. So that's how many rows I did, and it ended up fitting perfectly onto my plant. I hope you guys were able to follow along pretty easily with this tutorial and when you get done you just slip stitch to the top of your chain and clip off. It's pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty beginner friendly pattern. If you guys enjoyed today's video, again, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And if you were able to make this, I'd also love to know what colors you decided to use for your plant hanger. And thanks for coming in to another video on Dream 9 Designs Yarn Corner of YouTube.